Americans, and other friends, subscribers around the world. We are. Woo! Listen to that. Boom, talk like a. Just pulled out of Moscow. Always hate to leave the kids. I get that. Sick feeling. I hope sick feeling for my babies. But we pulled out of there. Um, I didn't tell them. We'll see what happens here. But we may end up going back. Uh, up there for the night. It kind of depends on what we find here. And, uh, How late it is. Yeah, we're going to... Yeah, we got out there kind of late today visiting. Um, and we're headed down to Lewiston and Clarkston, Washington. So we'll see how much time and everything that takes. I just don't want to really travel at night. Uh, last, so if it gets late, we may end up cruising back there or we may cruise up and camp out along the river river if we find something to put some hot coffee in so that we have enough coffee to at least yeah. open our eyeballs. So I think we're going to head down here. Um, Miss Kitty will probably build some when we get down yeah. into the uh, Lewiston and Clarkston. And if we find somewhere for on the outskirts, probably in the end of the sun, man, it's nice today, man. Yeah. Some clouds over here, but and it's uh, actually looks pretty gnarly over there. So we'll see what the weather's like. We'd like to find a place to park out and maybe uh, do a little show and tell on some of the goodies we have. I'm going to show some of this gorgeous farmland. Yeah, yeah. Okay. First little can go over too far because she's doing the oh sorry about that. This uh it's our first stop here in Lewiston. Let's try to turn around for it. Yeah. 
to clean this up. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that the fake smile? Uh oh, we got Miss Kitty. I know we're we're at during the day when she starts <laughs> when she starts putting out the fake smile. Whoa, look at that guy. So, you have no idea from the last segment, but uh, holy moly. We are in a crowded parking lot. Extremely. Still in Lewiston. We went over to Clarkston. Man, we found this junk shop to die for. That's amazing stuff. What are we dropping there? 100 bucks in there? Man, uh, yes. Just there was some other guy has some amazing junk. Amazing treasures, kitty. <laughs> So now we're actually late in the, it's like six o'clock their time, which is seven o'clock my time. And I don't know if you can see back there, which kind of, but man, our bed is just loaded with stuff. So that's going to make it a little awkward. Yeah, we're going to have to set it on the, well, yeah, we can do it if we had to. Yeah, we could. But we're going to, uh, talk about going back to the kids. Kevin, yeah, the kids, Kevin McKenzie's, but, uh. They just started back in school today from spring break, so don't really want to. They got to get back in the swing of things, and man, we've spent more money than I wanted to. Quite a bit more money. I think. Did you do anything at Harbor Freight? Uh, what? Are you trying to get to spend more? No, I'm just making sure as we go by. What was it that I was wanting to Harbor Freight? I don't know. I ain't going to Harbor Freight. Okay. But uh. Anyway, we spent more money on than we wanted to, but now when it comes to buy and sell, you know, when the stuff's there, yeah. it will actually do real well. So we're kind of fighting at the bit now to get back so that we can spend the next few days listing stuff. So right now we're headed up this hill to climb out of Lewiston, headed back south.
measures we found, so we'll check back in soon. Good morning, Americans. And other friends to subscribe to Well, there's Miss Kitty. Good, Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so, we were headed down back last night and said I think in the last clip that we uh it was getting later and then as we came uh I can't remember what the name of the hill is but came out of uh she's coming to get her coffee she's coming to get her coffee, Need my coffee. <laughs> but as we came excuse me over the hill out of Lewiston and stuff, you climb out of there, and we got on this side by Craigmont, man, it started, man, it was nasty, and the clouds over Whitebird here were just insane, and so, man, we pulled into um, Rangeville here, this is where we broke down in the Chevy Venture van, you know, at that time, and uh, we pulled in here, man, I filled up, I was like, I just decided to crash out here because man, it was snowing big old flakes, just a blizzard. The wiper would have been crazy. But, man, take a look at this down right here. Oh, great trail. Oh, behind the scenics. Look at that mountain. I see it all that good. But the sun is out, man. Bluebird sky. gonna be a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So I think that uh, uh, now we are going to uh, yeah. now we are going to actually have a few cups of coffee. <laughs> Warm the van up, have a couple cups of tea. Turn that heater off if you want. Man. A couple cups of coffee and warm this up and then I might end up showing the stuff on the side of the road down on the salmon if the wind ain't blowing or something. That'd be nice. nice. Have a little nice. lunch or something down there. Yeah, if it's nice. And in this one, and then when we get home, we'll get this one. <coughs> so, when you're seeing this, <laughs> it's almost in real time, man. Uh, but now I got to go use the pot Hey, so we decided to drive out here to Tolo Lake. Tolo Lake is a site that in 1995, like they discovered mammoth bones. And back in Grangeville, did we ever show that? We tried to, but I think there's a glare on the Okay. Thing. They have, it's actually a replica, it's not the actual bones, but they have the, uh, a mammoth uh, skeletal statue set up, full size, enclosed in glass right off the highway. And it's, since it's enclosed in glass, it's really hard to actually visually see it in the daylight. Maybe one day we can get it at night. Oh yeah, we could have done that last time. Yeah, so we'll oh, no. show you what we find. Yeah, so we drove into the fog. We believe that the lake is right over there, but we cannot see yeah, it. so we don't, uh, it didn't turn out quite like we thought. This fog got to burn off pretty quick, you would think. Okay, it looks like the lake is right down here. Let's take a little walk. This is a boat ramp, it looks like. A little path going off that way. 
Little path. Handicap access. That's what that is, hun. Handicap access. Yep. With this fog, it kind of feels like we might see a mammoth. Yeah, <laughs> do that. What is land the land of before time or yeah. the land of the lost? You left your headlights on. And I don't see Kai no more. I don't know what we're going to see when we get out here. Probably nothing but fog. Whoa, what you think of that, Kai Kai? Yep, nothing but fog. Oh, and ducks. I right, might have set up there on that board, but I didn't reread it. Yeah, careful, you're gonna skate down. Dude, I got my slippers on, man. Yeah. Slick, Even with the fog, that is amazing. When I got here, see the ducks? They were up here closer, and they were pulling out, and you can uh, see their well, it's V trail. Big boat, so it's gotta be a... Yeah. Animal. There's a bobber. Well, I got yeah, my tradition pole, man. Oh, you can it. see blue sky up there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think we'll hang out and let it. Just a little bit. Might have to, well, fish it a little yeah. bit, but it's yeah. good cropping see that? bass fishing. Oh, that's amazing. Good dress, man. A little fishing. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. Bring our little boat down here. Mm hmm. Okay, we're going to just kick it for a bit. Yeah, we'll check that. We'll show it if this fog pulls off of it. Just burning that off. Oh, what happened? <laughs> yeah. Think, man.
So we came over on this other side. So right there is where we were. Why the fog lifted? You can see the geese too, man. You got geese, mud ducks, and all kinds of ducks. Well, a pretty good sized lake. And that's White Bird. That's where we're getting ready to go over. You can see where the van is. Wave, Miss Kitty. <laughs> so we're gonna, not today, but definitely, man, come fish off these, bring our lawn chairs and fishing poles and camp out right there. It's supposed to be some good fishing in this, and man, that farm out there, man, what a wonderful place to have a little farm. Man, it's nice, love the spring. Lots of farm equipment. You can hear all the machinery here and there, over there, back here. Amazing. Wonderful. That's what we heard out there on the T-Dot with the helicopter. Now we're on the Salmon River, and the fog hasn't lifted this morning from here yet. You know. Uh -huh, we do. What, they just pulled down in? Were they watching us? Oh, there goes the animal. What were they doing? Just sitting there watching us? They said, hey man, that's Miss Kitty and I don't know you, Billy. You did? <laughs> well, they don't think you're so sweet, Miss Kitty. I'm trying to catch you. Well, there was somebody there. I they could have come and said hello. They could have. All right, so uh, I don't think we're going to show all the treasures. Right now. When we get, yeah, not here or, well, we could go on there. This um, kitty wants to get home. Yeah. Do you want to show no, let's get home. Okay. So we'll just do a. Because uh, by the time we pull it out, then put it back. Yeah, I mean, we so could already work. be home. Well, and I pull it out at home, then I can right. put it and take it in there. And right. List it. Organize it for where it needs So we're to just go. gonna end this. I think here we're uh, between Riggins and New Meadows on our way back. And uh, Kai, Kai, you slipped on something. Um, and. Down. So we're gonna get home, then we'll squish this video, and it's gonna be pretty long yeah. anyway, especially after going to that little lake. So I think good Lord willing and the cricks don't rise. We'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs>